Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the Argue Podcast. It's video two. Uh, here I'll be talking about Giants and Fremantle. So obviously, Freo, we come away uh, a gritty win over a very determined Eagle side who were basically willing to punch us by the throat, right? Um, and uh, we look to Giants, who are, in my opinion, anyway, uh, are a team that have been, you know, they haven't produced the best fruits. Um, and I think I look at this game here as a game where we can, again, much like the Eagles game, win and, and try and win well, you know, to the best of our ability. Um, but in saying that, before I get into it, hit that intro. Alright, right, here we go. Just carrying on from what I was saying before, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this game here is an important game, obviously, in terms of our positioning, first and foremost. Things are going to be hectic on this ladder. All we can do is hope and pray, but we need to do our job. There's no point hoping that uh, so-and-so wins or loses if we're going to lose to the Giants, right? If we lose to the Giants, forget it, throw everything out the window. But obviously the reality is we're versing a team that we do have a very good chance of winning and beating. And thus, because of that, we need to have that intention and focus in mind that we can and we will. Now, obviously, Sorta was back last week and was good. You could see those, you know, it's just, just getting in back into the swing of things. As for me, though, I'm just sitting there and I'm questioning. I, I understand that the Nat 5, as of late, is a controversial player for us amongst our fans. You have some of the camp of he should play for us, and you have some of the camp who say that he disrupts things. All that jazz, the reality is, though, uh, we need five, and I think we do. Um, probably up, up forward. Uh, some players in the in the forward position aren't really uh, doing us any favors, especially when it comes to kicking. Um, but in but but in saying that as well, um, yeah, getting outmarked, getting just outdone by defenders, uh, in particular against the Eagles, right? Um, I'm not even sure who it was that Barris or whatever his name is. I don't know who he is, but um, yeah, just basically out playing Lob. It was quite uh, difficult to watch because many a time Lob could have had he put in the inch of heart. Right, if you put in a bit of heart, right, as tall as he is, he just had to have a little bit of heart there, and he couldn't do it. Now, against this Giants outfit again, um, like I said, not the best team. So I don't want to walk all over them, though, because um, they're a team that, in my opinion, can still at times do the unthinkable as they have, as they have done many, many times in the past. But um, in saying that, it is a game that I think is winnable. That's the, that's the reality, and I think I'll leave it at that with the Giants. Um Again, not trying to disrespect them, but we are looking onto uh, bigger and better things, right? We just have to beat them, though. And, um, yeah, hopefully beat them well. See how we can go with the percentage boost, see what we can do. But I think beating them is the most important thing. And then hopefully things fall into shape. Now, as I discussed before, right, regarding things and all that jazz, I think the best outcome for us is if the, the Blues win and if Saints by, and if St. Kilda win by some miracle, right? And obviously we win. That, like, that, for mine, is like the perfect thing. Freer winning... Blues winning, St. Kilda winning, and I think that's where I'm going, really, and and tipping, heading that way. Um, uh, simply because, obviously, if uh, Cullen win, then then uh, Swans don't um, go up the ladder, and obviously, again, uh, sorry, Collingwood doesn't go up the ladder, uh, and uh, if St. Kilda win, Swans don't, and if we win, we can basically bunny hop those guys in the top four, whatever, has, whatever happens between um, the, uh, the Ds as well as the Lions is irrelevant to us. Right, so again, we, we seem to, though it's a, a congested sort of a, an affair there on the ladder, uh, for some reason things have sort of fallen into our favor, you know, somehow, they just have, I don't know why, don't don't ask me why, they just have, um, yeah, right, that, you know, that draw against the, the Tigers, though, it sucked because it was a draw, but it wasn't a loss, right, so again, the two extra points, right, just, just matter so much, especially now, so, this is an example where two points mean so much. But yes, uh, going back to the game against the Giants, uh, for us anyway, pressure, 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 defense, defense, defense. Um, as the win five comes back, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, but look and say that sensational effort by the boys nonetheless. Uh, the likes of Frederick, Young, Brayshaw, Sarong, uh, Darcy, right, um, Cox, uh, just, just a plethora of talent we have, and and blessed to have be to, to have. We're blessed to have them. Um, but yeah, this game here, nonetheless, can't be undermined. Um, though you may argue it's a soft game to have before you get into the finals. Well, oh well, you know, um, we should learn from the losses we've had against really strong teams. 
that's the reality. And uh, again, doing this for Barra, right? If we beat this team here, beat the Giants, that's three more games to worry about, right? Um, yeah, you know, anything can happen. That's the reality. Anything can happen. Though the Cats are strong, you know, it's not about the Cats. Though the Ds are strong, it's not about the Ds, you know, so on and so forth. Once that top eight is sealed and locked up, anything can really happen, you know? And, and I firmly believe that even the season has showed us. I mean, again, not to use them as an example, but I will... Carlton, right, in particular, they were flying high, they were on top of the world, they were everyone's favorite team, or second team, or whatever, and they have nosedived, All right, there's no other way to sort of explain it, to say it, not, they have, and, and uh, yeah, that, that's just the crazy thing about footy, about sport, is things can happen, right, but I'm saying that, they still got a chance, and much like Fremantle, no matter what happens, we're going to be in the eight, um, and this season has been an, impro an improved season. And I think that's what we've got to look at as well. As fans, we want to, you know, because, we were, because we've done so well this season, we have all, in my opinion anyway, felt so entitled to just be in the top four, to, to be flag man or the memes and all that jazz. But the reality is I don't want us to overlook the progress that, that we have made, though. And, and I'm talking to myself here as well because I love free and I just want to do well and I hate it when we lose and, and all that jazz. This is my first finals experience as well as a Freer fan. You've got to remember that. I've, Never experienced them in the finals ever. Obviously, they have before. I, I, obviously, they have, but as a true fan, I've never ever experienced them. So this is my first rodeo. This may be your, you know, your your fifteenth, your sixth, whatever. You know, this is my first. All right. So I'm looking forward to this. But I'm saying that anything is possible. All right. Any game, any time, any place, any moment, any player, any opportunity, any goal. AFL. All right. Anyway. Sorry, that was just me getting all uh, dramatic there. But yes, again, just back to it, just to conclude, Fremantle need to win. Win and win well. Um, I don't see us losing. I don't think we should lose. Um, go go there to New South Wales, kick their butts, right? Then look in the next one and just hope and pray things fall into place. That's all we can do. Anyway, take it easy. Thanks, uh, thank, you, uh, thank you again, guys, for watching. Um, yeah. yeah. It's, it's going to be interesting. Bottomless footy, right? Around the corner. Looking forward to it. Anyway, take it easy. See you guys next time, and uh, Giants, not today. Don't argue. <laughs>